Welcome back to Chester, West Virginia. Friday Night Fights presented by Miller High Life. We have six round super middleweights. Jerison Ravello and Alex Armenta from the Mountaineer Resort. And there is Jerison Ravello, 24 years of age, fighting out of Newark, New Jersey. 6-0 and with four knockouts in his young professional career, a member of the Dominican Olympic team. And he'll be taking on Alex Armenta from Los Angeles, California, 168 pounds. He's 22 years of age, and he, too, undefeated at 7-0 and with right. six knockouts. 1998 California Golden Gloves champ. Watch your heads on the inside. Tim Wheeler remains our referee. Obey my commands at all time. Remember you guys are perfect. Brian Adams got a six round technical decision win against Yanni Vargas. Fight stopped on accidental cuts. Get a look at our mentor getting ready. And Fourteen rounds as a pro for Armenta. You ready? Ravello was a pretty good amateur, Teddy. He actually beat Jeff Lacey in the 1999 U.S. Challenge Cup, lost to Lacey in the Olympic Trials, became a U.S. citizen in 1998. He had dual citizenship, so when he realized he couldn't make the U.S. Olympic boxing team, went down to the Dominican Republic and made their team get a trip to Sydney. And this fight's not going to last too long. That good right hand. Break, 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 Ravello, like a, like who has a, good the, size to this weight class. And as you said, at well over 100 amateur fights. That's serving him well now against Armenta, who only had seven amateur fights. Yeah, this is the case of two guys who are undefeated. But they are undefeated on different levels. Ravello with a good straight right hand. I was going to say before the record, 7-0 of Armenta, I was going to ask you, you remember that commercial? Is it live or is it Memorex? I was going to say, is this a built-up record or is it a real one? One thing you have to give Ravello credit for. He's doing the real work, the real stuff. He's doing what you're supposed to do with a guy that there's doubts about. Armenta takes a knee. There is a three knockdown rule effect. In effect, there's knockdown number two. You know what I like there? I know he's having target practice, Ravello, but he went to the body with that right hand. And then up top. That hurt Armenta. So Ravello scores one more knockdown in this fight. Officially will be stopped. And there's another good body shot. And Ravello's looking to set up the head shot by going to the body. Let Armenta think down and then throw high. And there he goes. Fight's over. So two guys with undefeated records, one legitimate and one guy who could be making some hay. Armenta goes down three times, 147 of round number one. And Jerson Ravello gets his fourth first round stoppage. And he improves to 7-0 with five knockouts. doing what you're supposed to do at this point in your career when you get your first shot on television going in there and taking care of business if you do have a guy who turns out not to be quite representative of that seven and all record well what are you supposed to do Bob get rid of him. Ravello got rid of him. well a barrage of punches puts Armenta down the first time there's a lot of punches from Ravello here and Armenta does the wise thing and he'll take a knee. I like the way Ravello's using range. He was extending his punches. Now this is what you really like, the second knockdown. Yes, sir. Going to that body with that right hand and then going back up top. Armenta did not like that right hand to the body and this is how the fight ends. And at this point, Ravello knew that it was just a matter of letting leather go. So he let it go. Referee stopped the fight. So Jerson Ravello, 7-0, five knockouts, 147 of round number one. He stops Alex Armenta. Vernon Forrest, Edgar Ruiz coming up in our main event. But first, we'll check back in with Kevin and Max. All right, fellas, thanks very much. Ravello, obviously impressive. And it's disappointing, though, when you see two undefeated guys and one obviously is undefeated, but clearly not nearly in Ravello's class tonight. 
Yeah, you know, when you watch a guy on that level, you're looking for things. Is he going to do anything that makes me kind of strike him from the record of prospects that you feel can do something? No, he didn't do anything today. I had seen him in the past where I've looked at him and said, this does not look like the kind of performance, even at this stage in his career, that speaks of a future with multiple world titles. But certainly here against an undefeated guy, for whatever it was worth, he did everything he was supposed to do. Didn't look anything but sensational. 7 and 05 by knockout. That takes us to a classic KL. Take it back to 1977. Marvelous Marvin Hagler taking on the worm. You remember this bout, don't Willie you? Willie the worm. Well, I, you know, when I say I remember, I wasn't around for these. <laughs> classic KO, 1977. A left hurts Monroe, and he holds on. The referee separates the two men. A vicious right hand sends Monroe crashing to the canvas. Monroe in desperate trouble trying to clear his head from that wicked right. He's up but staggers backward across the ring. Wisely, the referee stops the fight. Marvin Hagler scores a shocking second round knockout over Willie Monroe. Classic KO is brought to you by Miller High Life. I'm dating myself. I remember that. <laughs> oh boy. Speaking of classic boxing, ESPN Classic is where you can find the best fights and the most legendary warriors in boxing history. George Foreman, Tuesday night at 9 Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Oh, Terrific stuff. Tuesday on ESPN.